Hello everyone. Wow, it has been some time. I know I will sit down at one point in this vlog and kind of catch you up on everything, but welcome to the vlog. It's been so long. It's so nice to see you all again. Um, I just came back up from grabbing some packages and deliveries that had arrived, and so I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start the vlog here. We're gonna open up all the packages that I got. There aren't too, too many, but there are quite a few. There's just, oh, there's so much catching up we have to do. Um, but today has been a very low key day. I did a little bit of filming, um, a lot of emails, a lot of replying to comments, um, kind of the usual lows. There were so, so many beautiful comments on my last um, Aritzia haul, which by the way, like I seriously loved every single piece in that haul. Like I'm actually wearing the blazer from it right now. <laughs> but anyways, I thought I would sit you down and um, open up some of those packages because I'm really, really excited for some of them. Um, I also got myself a croissant from Starbucks because <laughs> it was time to get a croissant. I also received, this is the cutest thing. Um, it was sent to me by Canada Post, but it's a little kind of wish I were there. Um, paid for kind of postcard. So it's paid for, you could just fill it out and send it to a family friend. And I think that's just so sweet. I, I probably won't use it because I have no one to send it to but this is just a really thoughtful thing i think it's i think it's really cute um but anyways let me sit you down okay can we see me we're good okay so the first thing that i got this is actually sent to me from a brand it's bamboo underwear i've actually seen this brand quite a lot and they ended up reaching out to me so let's see what they sent very cute looks kind of big though my boobs will fit in here okay so they sent me two sets so the first one is kind of like some shorts and then a little looks like a bralette that's very very cute looks very comfy too and then the other thing they sent me was more like it looks like a crop top and then just some thongs this could be a little tight we'll see see how that fits <laughs> so that was um sent to me by bamboo underwear stay comfy very cute little note from them the other thing that i got oh i'm so excited for this the other thing i got was a book i um if you've never heard of valeria lipovetsky she's another creator from toronto and um one thing i love about her is that she reads a lot and so she has like i think like a little book club that she does with her readers um and i love checking up on the books that she's reading because it's just it's such a good way to kind of discover new books because i find going online it's just it can get overwhelming when you're trying to find like a book like a good book to read and so anyway she had done a q a about her and her husband and she was talking about love and she recommended this one. It's called All About Love, New Visions by Bell Hooks. And so the book pretty much talks about love and kind of trying to figure out what love is. Um, that really, really kind of stood out to me and it's just sounded very interesting. So that's what I got from Amazon. Um, I just picked it up actually a few days ago. The other thing that I picked up that I'm very excited about and I'm hoping that it fits because I so if you follow me on instagram you will know that i do a lot of get ready with me reels and i love love doing them um but doing them means that i have to show like my bras naturally because because i'm getting ready right so i've been on the hunt for new kind of bras and underwear and i used to work at victoria's secret which best experience ever the women there were phenomenal i just best experience of my life um so most of my bras and underwear are actually from Victoria's Secret. Working there was a really, really nice experience because I really learned about my body and what works for me. I think when it comes to bras specifically, we all kind of just buy the one thing that we think works. So like padded bras, push-up bras, and we don't realize that there are so many other styles that could work for our bodies. And so while I was working there, I pretty much discovered that I like underwire and I hate padding, okay? I never used to wear my bras because I hated how they made my boobs look. I didn't want my boobs looking bigger. I have, you know, I'm, I'm a very petite person, but I have bigger boobs. Okay, I don't have 
tiny tiny boobs and so for me kind of discovering that part of myself and understanding that I like the support and the separation that comes from the underwire but I don't like the padding and the push-up and the cleavage that that gives you so I really fell in love with unlined bras and that is pretty much the only thing I own I think I own one padded bra um, and the rest are completely unlined and that is just what works for me and it's funny because everyone on reels loves them so anyways Whew, that was quite a ramble. I was shopping around on Shopbop for some new undergarments and I came across this brand called Thistle and Spire and I really, really loved the undergarments that they had. Again, a lot of lace and unlined bras, which is perfect for me. So I got a matching set and I hope this fits my boobs, honestly. I, just, I hope it fits. This is the bra that I got. Oh, this is so beautiful. Oh my God, this is so beautiful. <laughs> so this is the bra that I got. It looks like this. I think it's so, so beautiful. It does have a very unique kind of underwire situation happening. So it's quite low in the front. Um, and then the back looks like this. Very, very simple. And then I did get the matching kind of underwear to it as well. I will link this down below and I'm, I'm hoping that this all fits because it looks beautiful and the quality is gorgeous. Oh wow, yeah. And then that's just the matching underwear to it. Very, very beautiful. I'm really excited to kind of try this on and let you know how it fits because the quality looks phenomenal. So I'm so excited. Anyways, that is pretty much what I got for my deliveries. Um, I, I don't think I've ever started a vlog like this, but I was literally just dying to get into these packages because I was really excited about them. And I'm also really excited to start this, um, this new book. I finished Difficult Women a while back and I never even let you guys know. Difficult Women by, oh my God, Roxanne Gay was so absolutely amazing. Her, I cannot tell you how many emotions I went through reading that book. I was all over the place. Every chapter was just like, oh my God, so good. So if you're looking for a really, really good read, um, Difficult Women by Roxanne Gay is one I would highly, highly recommend. But I will be starting this one today. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put all this stuff away, clean up, and I'm also gonna have my croissant that I picked up because um, I was really craving a croissant today. I don't know. Anyways, I will catch up with you in a bit. Hello everyone, it's been quite some time. I just got into a comfy kind of sweatshirt. This is actually Missouri's um, new um, Golden Crew sweatshirt. It's from their International Women's Day campaign and it's honestly become my favorite. I can't stop wearing it. But anyways, I got into comfy clothes because it is now five o'clock, kind of like the bulk of the day is over and I was just making a coffee because I need to do some schoolwork because we are heading into kind of the busiest time of the year in terms of schoolwork. Um, so I have a lot of papers, lots of readings to kind of do. Um, so that was kind of what I was about to do, but I thought, let me make a coffee, sit down with you and just have a bit of a catch up, at least for a few minutes before I get to work. Um, so that's kind of the plan. So I'm gonna finish making my coffee and then we'll sit down together. ready i've been having my coffee with the sprout milk i don't know i think i've showed it to you before um it's this milk here so good it's a pea protein um or sorry a pea plant-based beverage this one is actually the sprout barista one liter um the other one that i was using had i think six grams of sugar versus this one has four so this one's got a little bit less sugar in it um, so I've been buying this one instead and it's so, so good, but coffee's done. I'm also going to have a couple biscottis. These are my favorite biscottis from Italy. If you live near Italy, I highly, highly, highly recommend you give these a try. These are the Mara BC um, hazelnut cantuccis biscottis. These are hazelnut biscottis. They've got loads of different um, flavors, well not flavors, um, I guess types um i know i've tried the pistachio i know they have almond they have one other flavor that i can't remember now um but my favorite still is the hazelnut that's i like i need these in my life 
every single week. <laughs> but anyways, let me go sit down on the couch and have a girls chat. All right, if you're watching with me, go grab a cup of tea. We'll, we're gonna start a girls chat now, okay? So pause, go get your tea or coffee or snacks, chocolate, and then come back and we'll chat. But anyways, so I know so many of you must be wondering, where have I been? Where have I gone to? I just kind of fell off the face of the earth. I am okay, my family is okay, we are all healthy and well. Um, truth be told, I was just going through some personal stuff and I just needed a, a few a few days, maybe a week, two weeks to just, you know, get myself back in order. Um, and you know what, I never ever wanna give you guys the impression that my life is perfect, because it's not. And I think the reason why for these past couple of weeks I just took a step back was because I wasn't feeling all that great. I really needed to focus on taking care of my mental health, my emotional health, my physical health, um, because truth be told, February was a rough month. It was a very tough month, okay? I don't know what your situations are like, but for me, February was, it was rough, like, oh. Honestly, I'm glad it's over. I am glad March is a new beginning. I feel much better kind of heading into this month. Um, and I am still so, so grateful for everything that I have and for everyone around me. But honestly, February was rough. Um, if I don't know what it's like in your locations, but here in Ontario, at least in Toronto, we are still in lockdown and we have been for months and months and months. And you know, as much as we we'd like to say oh it's not that hard like it's fine lockdown is hard it is very very hard um and i think it, you get to a point where it's just exhausting like you just crave seeing other human beings or you just crave going somewhere other than a grocery store and i think all of this in february just really caught up with me alongside some other things um and i just needed those few days to just I don't know figure myself out and then kind of get my life back in order because you know what at the end of the day if you are not taking care of yourself the rest of the stuff doesn't matter you could have the most beautiful house the most beautiful shoes and if you don't feel good about yourself and you're not you know you're not healthy and happy what's the point so anyways that's just a little update I'm okay I'm healthy I'm happy I'm back I won't leave you guys I've thought so much about you guys um but i just needed a few days to myself and so anyways but anyways i am really really excited because i have so much spring content planned for spring um and i'm just really really excited every time in ontario march has to be one of my favorite months for weather because you just it's that month where you just start to see that that change in the temperature it's it's sunnier it's warmer the breeze is warmer it's just it's literally the best and so um i'm just really excited for spring to come today i have loads and loads of schoolwork to do which is, but um that's what i'm gonna do for the rest of the night i'm gonna go grab my biscottis that i can have with my coffee i'm gonna sit down i have a reading to do and then i have a discussion post so nowadays in university it's, it's very different than i think in person and so now at least being in history not only do you have to do your readings and prep for your class but you have to do um these discussion posts which means that teachers will give a prompt of some sort and then you'll have to kind of sit down and and discuss that prompt and then sometimes you have to reply to the post of another classmate um very interesting it's fine it's not my favorite i think i enjoy more you know actually doing the readings and then going to class and 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 listening in kind of how it used to be and then doing my essays but it is what it is i guess it's, it's a good way to ensure that people are doing their readings maybe i don't know um but that's the plan for tonight and yeah it's very low-key with covid there's really not much to do but anyways i'm gonna go get to work because i want to have some time tonight to watch Ginny and georgia i've been watching it on netflix it's literally like a modern day version of um gilmore girls just with like a like a modern american twist i guess gilmore girls is american but anyways it's pretty good it's cute um so i'm gonna watch a few episodes of that <laughs> but anyways that was a catch up um i hope you guys are doing well let me know in the comments how you've been doing and what you're most excited for right now but i myself i'm gonna go get to work um because 
I have to get loads of stuff done. <laughs> Yes, I am in this hoodie yet again. I have to shoot some content for it. Um, not because I have to, just because I, I, I genuinely love this sweatshirt and I wanna take some photos for Instagram so I can post it. But it's funny because you know, you'd know you think that as a fashion content creator that I would never struggle with finding what to wear. And today I am literally so torn between two outfits. So essentially I got, let me show you. Let me show you what my struggle is today. <laughs> So I am in between wearing an all white base with this blazer and my white sneakers, which are right there, or wearing an all black base plus the blazer and my white sneakers. I can't decide. It would be these exact jeans in black and my Saison kind of V-neck black sweater. And I just can't decide whether I wanna do white or black. I just, I have no idea. I don't know what I'm feeling like today. So anyway, that is kind of the predicament that I'm in today. I have to um, take the train at, I think, 2 o'clock because I have some appointments back in my hometown to attend to. So I'll be taking the train there in a little while. But I wanted to shoot this sweater first um, before I left for Instagram. And anyways, that's just me. That's literally, I have no idea what to wear today. I've changed like four times. And I, I, it's just, it looks like spring out but it's still negative four, so I wanna like channel my inner spring and wear white, but it's also still cold and like I kinda wanna wear my black puffer jacket from Aritzia, which means then the white doesn't really go and then it's probably best to do the black underneath. <sighs> Struggles. <laughs> Anyways, I thought I would just kind of catch you up on today's plan. Before I let you go though, for, for now at least, because I'm, I'm gonna, we're gonna catch up later, but I started reading All About Love last night and it is so good. Like even just from reading the first chapter, it's already made me kind of question how I have perceived what love is in the past and like now and it's just, it's so interesting. Anyways, so I've been kind of highlighting certain phrases that I really kind of resonate with and I'm just really, really enjoying it so far. And um, yeah, I highly recommend it if you're looking for a new read. But anyways, I'm gonna go take those photos for Instagram and then I am going to probably pick up um, a breakfast sandwich or something on the way to the train station because I'm really hungry and I just don't feel like cooking at home. Um, yeah, that's the plan. So I'm gonna get going so I can get all my stuff done before I go and I will catch up with you later. All right, I decided on the black outfit. Um, I did just self tan, like I have a fresh layer of self tan. So I figured let's go with the black. I probably shouldn't be wearing white, but, <laughs> but yeah, you can tell I love black, don't I? But I'm just finishing to kind of gather up all my things. I'm about to pre-order a breakfast sandwich from Starbucks and then I'll call my Lyft um, to get going. But I'm just kind of picking up the last minute things. Can't forget my book. I will be reading this on the train. I just, I'm just dying to get on the train to be able to read. Um, but yeah, I'm just making sure that I have everything. Um, making sure I'm not forgetting anything, which I tend to do. So yeah, let me show you what I'm wearing because I keep talking about it. <laughs> all right, so this is what I am going with. We've got the all black underneath the new Wilfred blazer. I've got this Pauline bag. They actually sent me this. Well, I picked it out. They sent it to me and I cannot tell you how much I love this bag. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I love the numero uno, which you can kind of see hanging back there. I love that bag, um, but it's a little bit, like it does fit quite a lot, but this one fits in so much more. Like I can literally fit like a bunch of things in there. And so when I'm traveling and like I'm taking the train, I love, 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 love to take this one because I just find it fits so much more. Like right now I've got my camera, I've got glasses in there, my AirPods, keys anything you can possibly think of. I'm pretty sure I have a pair of socks in there too. So yeah, this is what I'm wearing. I just, I know it's spring and I'm supposed to be transitioning into white. Um, but you know what? This is what I was feeling like today. Jewelry wise, we've got, um, this is my Tiffany diamond necklace. I've got my Missouri diamond necklace. I love my diamond necklaces. I just, I don't go a day without wearing them. These little pearl earrings from Missouri. I know I've, I, 
this is like all I wear. These earrings have just become my obsession. I am eyeing up a new pair of their earrings because they just launched a new pearl collection and I am literally like, I really wanna get my hands on it. And of course I'm wearing my Nord Green Philosopher watch in the rose gold because it just, I feel like it goes really well with this whole look. So, well, what don't I wear this watch with? But anyways, that's what I'm wearing. I'm gonna get going because yeah, it's time for me to get going. So. Let's go. Anyways, I've done enough chatting. I really need to get going because I'm I'm gonna start running late at this point. I don't even know if I have my Presto card with me. Ooh. Anyways, I will catch up with you in a bit. Um, I don't know if I'll talk to you on the train because I, I'm, I'll be wearing a mask and I find that talking to the camera with a mask is just really annoying. I don't even know if you can hear me with a mask, um, but I will try and catch up with you in a bit. Hello everyone, it's a new day now. Um, yesterday went really well. I got all my appointments on it actually because restrictions are finally loosening up in Ontario. I managed to get my nails done. So I just went with a really simple French manicure. I have been dying to get my nails done because I have been doing uh, my nails just at home with like regular nail polish. Um, if you're a regular nail polish person, I will link my favorite color down below. It's the CND Romantique, my favorite color. It looks so, so classy. I, I really love that color. But that's what I was doing at home during lockdown because I obviously couldn't get my nails done by my nail tech. And finally, I was able to get my nails done um, and he was able to take good care of me. So I feel like a new, a new person with my nails done. I got two coats of Romantique in shellac and then he just did a French mani. Um, I don't get um, acrylics or or anything or gel or anything. I just get shellac on my natural nail. And that's what I've been doing, I think, for like the past six years. And yeah, it's it's what I love and I feel, I feel like a new person, okay? I feel like a new person with my nails done. But anyways, um, today has been a very productive day. As much as I've been feeling like a little tired, I have been getting a lot done. So I filmed a reel this morning, shot some content, um, edited, I'm currently editing a video, I'm vlogging, um, but I was just about to make a coffee, a little afternoon coffee because I'm feeling a little, you know when like two o'clock hits and you start to get a little sleepy, it's like that nap time almost. So I'm about to make a coffee because it's 1.46 and I don't want to get into that slump because I have a lot to do. Um, you know what, in this vlog, I really wanted to show you kind of everything I've been buying, but I feel like this vlog is getting long enough. <laughs> so I just figured I will chat about all the things I kind of bought for the most part in February in the next vlog, because there's a lot of stuff and I think there's a lot of stuff that I want to like kind of go in more depth about. So I think I'll leave that for next vlog. Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll leave it for next vlog. Um, but anyways, let me go make my coffee and then I'll keep chatting with you. Okay, coffee is made. Honestly, um, if you've been here since like way before Christmas, you'll know that like I used to get Starbucks so, so much. And when I got my Nespresso, which is the coffee machine that I used, I was really hoping that it was gonna get me out of my, you know, habit of constantly getting coffee out. And I can now at this point that I've had it, what, December, January, February, two months, going into the third month, I absolutely love my Nespresso. I love the coffee that it makes. It really does feel like you are drinking a latte at like a cafe. Um, and depending on like the pods that you use, whether you're using cream or sugar, you can really get different tastes out of it. But I wanted to show you my favorite pod because I think I found my favorite coffee. I have a few that I really like to reach for. The first one is this one. This is my favorite. This is the one I drink. I really like to reach for. This is Inspiracion Genova. I think it's an Italian one. It's like the dark kind of brown color. So, 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 so good. That is, I think, my number one at the moment. This, The next one that I really like, and specifically my parents, I actually buy this one for my parents for when they come over, but this is the Colombian one. So it's the pink pod. That's my mom's favorite. Um, and that's the one that I kind of have here for them because they really like that one. The other one that I have been buying kind of more consistently is a decaf because I do like to have coffee at night, um, but I obviously don't want the caffeine because I, I, I won't sleep. <laughs> but this one is the Voluto decaffeinated one and it is really really good. It's a much lighter coffee Which I really really enjoy having in the evening with my biscottis from Italy um, That's that's the coffee that I've been really really enjoying at nights 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to catch you up on my Nespresso adventures because if you do not have an espresso, definitely look into it. I know it's not the most eco-friendly option out there, but it's significantly better than Keurig. Um, you know, as much as the pods are not reusable, they are made out of aluminum and Nespresso has a very, very, very impressive recycling program. Uh, for example, right now I have my bag. So this is my recycling bag um, for my Nespresso pods. So all of my Nespresso pods go in here and when I'm ready to recycle them, I can either take them to my, Nes my nearest Nespresso location or alternatively, when you go to an Nespresso location, you can actually ask for bags that have a return shipping label on them. So you can actually ship your, your pods to get recycled. So say you do not live near an espresso, but you do have a post office near you, then having that um, recycling bag with your shipping label is probably the ideal way to go. And there are two sizes of bags. So there's a smaller red one, and then there's the black one that I just showed you. That one's a lot bigger. I went with the black one just because I don't want to have to be kind of going back to recycle my pods that often. I would have to actually go to my nearest Nespresso location, which isn't that that close so yeah it's just something that i've been really enjoying and i think it's definitely a good it was a really good decision that i made for myself and i do not regret it i love nespresso and I'm, i think every so often they come out with new kind of coffee pods to try um kind of almost like limited edition ones so that's always nice but yeah i just wanted to give you an update on my coffee because but anyways i think i'm gonna end the vlog here Today has been quite a day and I'm really just looking forward to being able to relax tonight, um, you know, read, read a book, light some candles, watch a movie, just have a really low key night. So I'm really going to focus for the rest of the day and just get as much work as I can done. Um, that way I can enjoy my evening tonight. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. It was so nice to have you guys back. Let me know how you're all doing um, because it's. I feel like it's been a while since, since we've caught up. I know, I know, but it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> but anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.